it's a whole thing. Does it make sense? In my head it does, I guess. So anyways. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Bianca Scogan Beauty. I'm so happy to have you guys here today. I have a TJ Maxx Marshalls and Ross haul today. So every once in a while, I go to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross and I look around and I pick up stuff. <laughs> so I know that there's a lot of content creators that go and will actually film at those places. And I actually super enjoy watching that content. It's so much fun to me. Also, it's super tempting because then I'm like, oh, maybe I need to head into my Ross and TJ Maxx and see what they have there. And then I do, and none of what they had in their stores in my store and my store is completely cleaned out and I'm super disappointed. I also am very introverted and so going into a store and recording sounds terrible to me so this is how I do this this is I just show you what I have actually purchased because to me those were the things that were actually worth it whereas everything else there I didn't get so but it could have been a good deal for you it's just not what I wanted anyways so I'm gonna show you what I have purchased and this one actually has been a long time coming it is May I think this video will go up later. I'm, I'm doing some pre-filming, but I have been shopping for all of this stuff for like five months. I think the way that like Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx works is that they do a lot of inventory at the beginning of the year, and so they don't have a lot of good stuff. And I do not work in office anymore. I work from home. And I used to, when I would work in office, I used to run errands because I live... 50 minutes away from my work and thus also like 50 minutes away from the TJ Maxx and the Ross and the Marshalls. Every time I would, I would usually go into work, which we used to be only working in office like one to two days a week. And so when I would go, I would then, after I was done working, I would make a, a trip to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross more often when I would have a really bad day at work. <laughs> than when I would have a good day. But you know, a little shopping therapy, right? Since I have been doing that less, because I work from home, I have been getting into Salt Lake less. This has just been more rare. So this is more trips than I feel like usually it takes for me to get all enough stuff to make a video. But also it took longer because I just am not going into Salt Lake as often. Okay, so let me show you what I got. I have everything in these this TJ Maxx and Ross bag. And there's TJ Maxx and Marshall stuff in this TJ Maxx bag. So, yay, let's see what I got. I will be putting in my description box, so go down there into my description box, I'll be putting what these things are and if I can find them, what they're worth and how much I paid. Because sometimes things end up at these stores because they are discontinued or they're like on sale at uh, wherever they're sold at or like they're holiday items that are no longer being sold. So some of these things are harder to find than others and I can only find them on like Poshmark, which will not tell you the real price of the product. So I will do the best that I can to tell you what good deal I got. But I have no noticed doing these, I've been doing these videos for like three years now, that even still, even if these are half off, I have found by comparing the price I got and the price it was online, I have done better or the same as every time. Shopping at Ross and TJ Maxx and Marshalls is worth it. You do have to be picky because there are people who go in and like swatch things. Like I will, ugh, I feel bad that I open things, but I do it because I have to check to make sure it was not swatched. So anyways, I think it is worth it shopping at these places, but you do have to be picky. You have to go through things with a fine tooth comb to find stuff that is not swatched, to find stuff that is not expired, to find stuff that is worth your dollar. So that's why this took me like five months to get all of this stuff. Okay, so let's get into this here. Let's go with Ross first. I was able to get, and I already opened these, so. Secret, secret. I already opened these because I wanted to smell how they smelled. Um, these are Britney Spears fragrances, okay. When I was in junior high and high school, Britney Spears fragrances were the thing. Everybody was wearing them. I, I guess I was into, I was just wearing Victoria's Secret Love Spell throughout junior high and high school. So I didn't have any like of these, you know, 
actors and singers and whatnot fragrances. And now that I'm getting into fragrance, I'm like, oh, let's see, you know, because they're super on sale. So let's let's see what they're like. So anyways, I was able to get these two. This is Britney Spears Curious. And this one is Britney Spears Midnight Fantasy. So I have already smelled one of these and one of them is much better than the other one. Can you guess which one? Have you smelled these? Is one of them, do you think one of them smells better? I personally like um, sweeter smells. Britney Spears, Midnight Fantasy. This was, I didn't even tell you, it was $10.99. What is the real price? Look in this description box. This is such a pretty cute little bottle, look at that. And you can't see it because the light is shining through it and I'm seeing it, but it is such a pretty blue. It really is. It doesn't look as blue when I just showed it, but it is. Okay. Then we have, so that was Midnight Fantasy. This one is Curious. Let's smell Midnight Fantasy. Ooh, that's nice. That is fruity. Fruity floral, very sweet, but also in like a mature way. Like it's not just like cotton candy. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's very good. I like that. Okay, cool. I'm glad I got that because $10.99? Nice. And I've heard that, you know, Britney Spears fragrances are actually pretty good. So that's why I wanted to get them. Let's do the Curious one, which I feel like is the more well-known one, but I don't know. I never had them. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's what I thought. So I like the Midnight Fantasy better. This one... It has more floral to it. It has a little bit of almost like a sunblock smell to it, which is, I actually am obsessed with sunblock smells, but I wasn't anticipating that. It's almost like sunblock, but not just sunblock. It's like sunblock with something I don't like, like a leather kind of smell. And I, I it kind of gives me a headache. Don't like this one. Probably I'm going to give this one away to like my sisters or something because I don't know. I don't know, but I don't like it because I, I absolutely love sunblock smells, but I feel like that is a very small hint of that. What is that? Let's see if we can look it up. Curious by Britney Spears. It is a sweet scent with notes of pear and lotus while notes of jasmine, magnolia, and tuberose deliver an enveloping floral freshness. Okay. That's it. It's just very white florals. It is, it's a, it's, it's florals without being like the rosy florals. It's these white florals, the lotus and the jasmine and the magnolia and the tuberose. Maybe it's tuberose. Maybe that's the smell that I don't like. I should one day pinpoint that, but I don't like that. <laughs> okay. So the next one, Midnight Fantasy, which I did like deep and mysterious as the midnight sky. Midnight fantasy is a masterfully balanced scent that gets noticed and turns heads. Juicy plum and sour cherry aromas start the fragrant voyage into the floral heart of lush, rich notes. Sweet hints of orchid linger for a while until the final touches of amber and vanilla. Okay, there it is. It's that amber and vanilla. There was that pear. I'm not smelling as much floral in this one. It was very fruity to me. So it was the pear, like the fruit with the vanilla. So I, I would say this is a, a fruity vanilla and I like it. I, I definitely enjoy it a lot more the, than the curious. So the last thing that I got from Ross is from Hourglass. So it was also on sale for $9.99. This is the Hourglass Confession Ultra Slim high intensity refillable lipsticks. So these have been on FabFitFun. They had one of these as an entire choice in FabFitFun and I didn't get it. I don't remember why. There was obviously a better choice that I picked, but I remember kind of regretting it because ever since they have been selling like the refills for it. And I was like, oh, I could have just bought, gotten the one as a choice and then got refills. And then I have def different, you know, colors. Anyways. Hourglass is one of those brands that is a very expensive brand. And so if I can get things that are less expensive, I'm gonna. And I love red lipstick. I love it. To die for. Though, okay, I was gonna say this looks much redder here 
than it does here. To, to me, looking at it right here, it has more of a, like a, a warmth to it, more of a brown. Okay, so let's see. I have all these swatches from different times of my life because I am a swatch kind of person. I swatch like crazy. Okay, yes, it is, it is more of a ruddy, like brownish red, which I was expecting it to be more of a true red, a true cool red because, I mean, look at this, right? Not to say I'm upset at it. It's still a very beautiful red. This is a very pretty like fall red for me. So I like it. I'm excited about it. $10. So when I go on and look at the website and find out how much this is, I am sure I will have done better by getting it $10. So look at my description box and you'll see how much the actual retail price is. Okay, let's talk about what I got from Marshalls. And we'll end with TJ Maxx because I think that one's the biggest. Okay, so what did I get from Marshalls? Chisato pads. These are facial cottons. I really like these. These are pretty pricey. You can get them at Sephora, but they're pricey. And I did, one year I did get them. I got the smaller package of them from Sephora, like during one of the 20% off sales. And they were good and I liked them. And so every time I see them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I pick them up because they're really soft and they're really high quality. And I feel like they're better than cotton balls. Like, <laughs> It may be weird, but I feel like these get off like my my nail polish way better than cotton balls. Cotton balls just are a mess. This right here is not nail polish. This is nail stickers, but on my toes, I use nail polish. And so I feel like I can use one of these to get all of the nail polish off of all 10 of my toes. Whereas cotton balls, I have to use like four cotton balls to get all of the nail polish off. If that explains it, am I using, I feel like these are so beautiful and luxurious that I'm wasting my money by using them for nail polish, but I don't care because I'm using them and that's all that matters. So these were $8.99, which I feel like for cotton balls, cotton pads, it's kind of pricey, but they're much more expensive at Sephora. And look how many are in here. There's three rows and they're very thin. So there's just a lot. I think it actually says how many. 165. There's 165 cotton pads in here. So this is going to last me a long time. Actually, I have, this is my backup. I have one that I'm already using right now. And there was somebody who I was, I was listening to that says that she cuts them in half because they're, they're like a, they're a good size, right? Um, but when I was cutting them in half, I didn't like it. I, I felt like I ended up having to use two of the cut in half ones to like get makeup off or nail polish off or whatever. So Anyways, I think these are really good. $9, well worth it because that pack lasts me like a year. The next thing I got from Marshalls, this right here. Speaking of nails, this is the Seche Vive. I don't know how exactly to say that, but I love this stuff. This, I usually go to Sally's just to buy this stuff and I'll get it full price because this is the best. <laughs> like top coat long wearing, fast drying. Well, it's, it's not like known for being fast drying, but I think it's, it's pretty fast drying. It's instant gel effect top coat. It, it dries really hard on your nails. And so there's no like going to be any cracking or any, and, and I use it on, again, I said this, these are stickers. So I use it on my toes. And so I feel like toenail polish already kind of lasts longer than fingernail polish. Cause you're not washing your hands, you know, your feet as often as you're washing your hands, but this makes it last three times as long. And it's so, it just looks so professional. Anyways, I love this stuff. So I got it for $4.99, which I think, I think this is like $11-ish. So, okay, look in the description box to see exactly what it is. But good, good deal on this stuff. I love that. I always purchase it. That was it from Marshall. So only two things from Marshall. So the rest is from TJ Maxx. Let's start with kind of the weird oddball thing. What? <laughs> Bianca. You're weird. I am weird. It's fine. These are some Christmas clips. I got this probably in like February or March or something. And it was $3. $3 for five clips. I am like, when I'm on here, I always have my hair down because I do that on purpose so that it looks good for the video. But when I'm out and about in my life, I always have a clip in my hair because I don't like hair ties because I feel like hair ties are too rough on my hair. So I always have a clip in and I just thought these were so cute <laughs> and I'm obsessed with holidays. So it's nice when you get something from 
a store that already has discounted things like TJ Maxx and Ross and such, and then it's on sale, so then it's even more discounted. Like, I feel like a one at that point, right? Like, oh, yes. I got an eyeshadow palette. Do I need more eyeshadow palettes? No. No, I don't. But when I get a name brand eyeshadow palette for $10, it's hard to say no. Okay, so Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is out of business. And so you can't even purchase this palette anymore. It was at Ulta. It's now gone. And it says compare $20. I believe that's wrong. I th I'm pretty sure this is like a $30, $40 palette. Anyways, also these colors, these, I don't have a lot of like pink palettes because I was thinking I didn't like pink eyeshadow. Then this last February, I did a couple of pink looks and I did one for a video. Like I did a Valentine's Day video. It was like my favorite look that I had done in a long time. I was excited to have another pink palette because I just think that um, red is the opposite of green and my eyes are green and pink is just, you know, red with white in it. So it's nice. I'm glad to have it. This is the, what did I say? I didn't even tell you what it was called. The strawberry feels. I'm, guys, I thought this was the strawberry fields, fields palette. It's the strawberry feels. Okay, that's pretty funny. I, I have to say that. It's pretty funny and pretty sad how long it took me to figure that out. Okay, so it's a pretty standard palette. I have an affinity towards indie brand palettes, but when you get one for ten dollars, is it is it even possible to get an indie brand for ten dollars? We have some pretty like I like that it goes dark to light, and we have it. it okay, I would prefer it to have more shimmers in here. We only have the two shimmers, but that's okay. And maybe if this brightest shade were a shimmer, I'm I'm kind of sad that it's not. It's a it's a matte. But can I make some beautiful looks with this? Yes, I can. And I'm excited to have it for $10. I mean, come on. Can you beat that? Maybe. Maybe when she was closing down the business and she was selling things for really cheap. But I heard that some people actually didn't get things. Like from actual Jaclyn Hill, like the website, that things were not being delivered to people because they, I think they like fired all of the customer service people. I don't know. So anyways, I got it and didn't have to work with customer service. So boom. Okay, so the last two things. These are the things that I got the most recently. I bought these last week, I believe. It all kind of has to do with the same thing that Jaclyn Hill closed down and Morphe went and declared bankruptcy because I got some Morphe stuff. It's technically Morphe 2, but Morphe 2 is an offshoot brand of Morphe 1 Morphe. Um, so I just got these and I felt like, I felt like I had a lot of stuff, but I didn't feel like I had enough to make a video. And so these two were what made it, me go, okay, I have enough to make a video now. Also, when I saw these at TJ Maxx, I was so excited because these were in my Ulta wish list. I had these in my wish list. So another thing, okay, so when you get things at a discount store and they're extra discounted, that's a win, obviously. But when you get things that were on your Ulta or Sephora wish list at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and it doesn't, and it's not swatched, oh, that's a win too. So I was really excited because I had wanted these. I, I They were on my Ulta wish list, but I never purchased them because I felt like they were kind of pricey for what they were. And now I got them for $6. It does say that the compare at $8 that's wrong. <laughs> I remember these being pricey and that's why I didn't get them. And Morphe 2 was supposed to be kind of more of a like a teenage brand than like more young than Morphe 1. I think these are beautiful. And I guess they, as I open them, you'll see what I mean. They are kind of young-ish. Uh, I got a purple one. So this is the Violet Vibes. These are kind of like all over face quad palette things. At first, I re okay, from what I remembered when I had this on my list a long time ago, I thought that these were eyeshadows, but I was wrong because it, it has a cute little guide here. I love that. How all-in-one is this? And I guess, I guess it actually kind of fits that this is for teens because as a teen, personally, I was learning how to do makeup as a teen. I know that nowadays the teenagers, they're just way more advanced than I was as a teen, but anyways, you got to start somewhere, and we have a nice little diagram on here. So it says that it has something for eyes, cheeks, lips, and face, which I guess face would be, that's where I'm a little confused. What would be the face? So here we have this. This is the top one, which is for the eyes, but I also feel like that could be a pretty highlighter. 
Then we have the next one, which is for the cheeks. So this is your blush, but that also could be an eyeshadow if you want it to be. This, okay, did I get that wrong? No, 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 I got it right. I'm gonna say this looks like a cream blush. No, this is the lips. So I feel like that could also be a cream blush if you wanted to go that way. So it's nice that it has options. Then this last one that says face. Okay, so the reason that I'm even questioning this, because it does just kind of look like a cream highlighter, but I actually right now, under all of this, I have a base of a, a primer that is kind of like one of those glowy primers. I got it in my ice cream beauty box. Anyways, it's a glowy primer. And so those are kind of been the rage right now is the glowy primers because Charlotte Tilbury's original one and then Elf copied it. And you know, a lot of people are copying it now and have those, those beautiful glowy primers. So could this be a glowy primer? I don't think so. And I think if I tried it, I would learn the hard way because it'd be super sticky, but could this be a glowing primer? Probably not. It's probably just a, a cream highlighter. <laughs> totally confusing. It does have the picture here and this one, this sorbet color. Like I'm like, where is that on her face? I don't see it. I don't see it. Like you can see that this top one is on her eyes. That one is on her cheeks. That one is on her lips. Where's that? Is that under it all because it's a primer? Okay, am I just thinking too hard about this? Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure that I am. Okay, so then we have another one. Here's the purple one. And we have the top, which is for the eyes. And again, you could use this as a highlighter. Would it be a very purple highlighter? Yeah, who cares? Um, then this one is the blush. So pretty, I love that. It's mauve colored. Here is the lipstick. And this one I was a little, okay, so. I, it's not swatched, which is good, but it does have this kind of like film over it. But I think that that is okay. What do you guys think? Do you think that's okay that that film is on there? I feel like it's just kind of a nap, like it's not, it doesn't look like mold. It just kind of looks like stained glass. Anyways, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that's yucky? Anyways, um, then the last one is this glitter. And this one also says face. So I think the last one is kind of up for interpretation. Where do you wanna use it? Could you use glitter on your eyes? Yes, but be careful because it, glitter in your eye hurts. Um, I feel like it could go like on your on your shoulders. It could go, you know, on your cheeks. It could go, depending on what you're doing. If you're going to a festival, you put this all over everywhere. Halloween, all over everywhere. But just for every day, I feel like that would be more for like my eyes. But it's really, I mean, look how pretty that is. Look how fun that is. So I think it's fun because I got two different colors and they are they have different concepts. Like the last one on this one is glitter. And on that, the last one was potentially a, a highlighter cream. Anyways, either way, they're fun. Are they for teenagers and I'm 38? Who cares? Makeup is fun and anyone can wear it. So that is what I got from TJ Maxx, Ross, and Marshalls. Did you guys think I did good? Did I buy good things or did I waste my money? <laughs> I think I did good. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna use all of this stuff, so I'm glad. So let me know if you think I did good and what you think of the, the little like crystals on the purple lip one. If you think that they're okay, you know. What do you guys think of this video? If you liked it, like this video. If you wanna see more from me, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to be notified of my videos, push the bell, and most importantly, be nice to yourself. All right, have a great day. Bye.